But I am making this video because I have noticed that in our community, when I talk about community, I am talking about Africa, I am talking about Africans. In our community, we have this bad habit, this bad culture of uh, moving abroad uh, blindly. Like, Is it true that the grass is greener on your neighbor's yard? Well, it depends on one's perspective or perception. On social media, we tend to believe that there is no life in Africa. Ourselves, we think that there is no better life in Africa. Uh, the best life is elsewhere and uh, Africa is just hell. How can I be living? And you despise where you are. You despise your country just because of what you see on Instagram. You think that um, others are more happier in Europe, more happier in the US, more happier in Canada or wherever country or continent but Africa. The question that I am addressing in this video is is it still worth it to move abroad the major reasons why you might choose to move permanently abroad the number one reason is because of work we found a job abroad and uh, we have signed our contract uh, the second reason might be because of health issues um, you have um, a health, uh, a permanent health issues that requires that you move abroad because in your city or in your country, in your continent even, you didn't find a right um, person or a right doctor for your treatment and you have no other choice but to travel abroad. We have married somebody from another country or from another culture and we have no other choice but to follow him because of school especially in my city or in my country we have now this culture where after high school we travel abroad because we don't have we do not have the right the adequate infrastructure in our country and the educational system is just very poor and the learning conditions aren't adequate as well so that's why we choose to to move abroad for higher education but i also think that moving abroad for school is a is a great opportunity to just meet people from different backgrounds where you just enrich your life you enrich your life because you meet people from different religious backgrounds from different cultures where you learn from those from those people and after those years spent in another country for university <clears throat> at the end of the at the end of your study courses you are no longer the same person you change into another person so i think it's a great opportunity so according to me those are the major reasons why we might why we might choose to move permanently abroad but all in all what we want the main reason we move abroad is because we are looking for a better life for better conditions of life that is why we move abroad and uh, where we move to we believe that that country has the opportunities or the possibility to offer us the the idea of a better life that we have and we seem to not find it in the country where we are and there is absolutely no age restrictions as to when one should travel abroad or when one should move permanently abroad there is no age restriction well let me tell you something there is more to just beautiful pictures to take in the street of france in the streets of uh, los angeles there are bills to pay there are, there is a life to sustain and there are taxes to pay as well i am making this video because i have noticed that in our community when i talk about community i am talking about africa i am talking about africans in our community we have this bad habit this bad culture of uh, moving abroad uh, blindly like we don't make any research as to why in the first place we want to move abroad uh, why 
we are we want to travel to that country and do, doing this just thorough research on the country where we want to move to because after we made the move or the moving then we start realizing all the negative things that uh, come with moving abroad or that come with a country that we have chosen for ourselves and then we start making videos uh, morning saying that um, you know Canada isn't offering all of the opportunities it's not what you think it's I just think before you make the decision to move to move before you buy your ticket to fly to the country that you want to move to it's just best that you have all of the information not the information that you get from the people who are from your family members who are in Canada family members who are in the US or in Europe you just take your time to do research on the country you want to travel to because let me tell you life abroad isn't a joke life abroad isn't for the fainted heart for the faint-hearted so it's tough I, I guess it's even tougher than when you are in your home country unless God speaks to you I believe it is unwise to pack all of your stuff and move abroad if you are doing well financially in your home country it takes time to build a life it takes time to build wealth so if you are already financially stable or you are you you've got a high paying job in your country why should you leave that just for the sake of being in Europe for the sake of being in the US I think it is unwise unless God tells you so to like desert all of your assets and move abroad maybe if uh, he has a mission a special mission for you then you can do that um, I believe that there is no El Dorado, there is no paradise on earth. Every country has its own demons and its own angels. So why not cultivate in our mind the idea of hard work and, um, and uh, just making life better where we are because life is tough everywhere. Life is tough. It's difficult everywhere. It's not easier in Europe. It's not easier in you in the u.s it's difficult everywhere so if you are already doing well where you are appreciate it and stay where you are the life that we see a bird you can work hard where you are and offer yourself vacation um vacation in exotic countries and have the best vacay of your life instead of just tormenting yourself with the idea of oh i want to leave a bird i want to leave a bird i want to leave a bird you can appreciate where you are so my conclusion is that the grass gets greener when you water it if you don't water it you will spend your life your time contemplating and admiring your neighbor's grass because it's greener they take care of it so wherever you are you don't have to um, take the grass and plant it as where elsewhere sorry you need to take care of it where it is just it's a matter of watering it and give it giving it time